For millions and millions of Americans, religious freedom is one of their most cherished rights. Protected by the U.S. Constitution as their first freedom, religious freedom is a fundamental human right. And on this early November day in Detroit, Michigan, two world faith leaders, along with a distinct gathering of other religions, came together at an interfaith religious conference to advance that conversation. We find that when people have a chance to exercise their religion freely, that strife goes down in a community, that there's more respect, that there's more civility. Religious freedom is also important insofar as uh, out of our religious convictions, we perform uh, very important works that help build up the common good. At Detroit's historic First Chapel, the Saints Peter and Paul Jesuit Church, Detroit Archbishop Vigneron of the Catholic Church and Elder Keach of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints were keynote speakers to a diverse and attentive audience eager to learn more. Religious liberty is a God-given right. It is essential to all men and women exercising their agency and learning to choose between right and wrong. The basis for why we are free is that we have an obligation to seek the truth, especially in what concerns God. In addition to the Mormon and Catholic sponsorship of the conference, Buddhists, Seventh-day Adventists, Sikhs, Islam, Judaism, and other religions played an important role in the day's discussions. Presenters shared that in a society of increasingly secular views, it's vital that priorities for the preservation of religious freedom be set. In today's world, the most effective way to protect everyone's rights is for each side to stand up for the other's core rights. And once we move outside the core area of our religious rights, we can be prepared in good faith to talk about compromise, about how we can all honor American pluralism by learning to live together in peace and respect despite what our differences might be. Standing up for religious liberty is an act of patriotism and defending religious liberty is a great act by which we seek to make our country better. The efforts to protect religious freedom was described as the hard work of citizenship and the cause to preserve such a priceless freedom is the responsibility of everyone. We really only have to do three things. We have to get informed and understand what the issues are around us. We have to put aside the fear about getting involved. And then most importantly, we have to live our lives in a way that people will respect us and listen to us when we want to make these important points.